Hi, I'm Jack, and today we're going to learn how to validate or provide outcomes to data requests using the Flux Oracle Explorer and the Oracle Validator node. Unlike other oracles, Flux makes it easy for anyone to become a validator. It's so lightweight, you can even provide outcomes from your cell phone. In the testnet version, all you have to have is a testnet near account with wrapped near. But in the mainnet version, you will be required to buy Flux tokens in order to get some skin in the game. Let's start with manual validation using the Oracle Explorer. From the main menu, click the Get Started button and you'll be linked to the Docs welcome page. Select the link to the Data Validators page and you'll be taken to the page that has everything we need to get started as a Flux validator. To start, you should be comfortable with the command line, GitHub, and crypto wallets and accounts in general. And you acknowledge that this is a testnet version and it may have errors or may lack features that will not be in the mainnet release. If you haven't set up a near testnet account yet, Click the Follow the Instructions Here text and you'll be directed to the near documents. Scroll down until you find the section on creating a testnet account and select the Wallet Testnet near link under Reserve an Account ID. You should also have a near CLI installed to be able to properly interact with the near network via your terminal. Follow the instructions by typing in a name for your near account. This will also be your near wallet address. Choose your method for restoring your account. I'll use a seed phrase for this example. Continue following the directions and your near testnet wallet will be created. Return to the Flux docs and find the link to the Oracle Explorer. Click on it and you'll be directed to the interface we use to check out and validate data requests on the Flux Oracle. First, you'll need to log into your near testnet account. Follow the login flow and you'll connect your near testnet wallet with the Oracle Explorer to allow you to start validating. Before we get into the request, you'll notice at the top that you have no wrap near in your account. For testnet purposes, we're using our own wrapped near tokens, but in the mainnet version, you'll have to purchase Flux tokens in order to participate in our protocol. First, we'll need to log into our near account from the terminal in order to store our key on our device. This will enable us to continuously interact with the near blockchain via the command line. Follow the link in your browser to log in, and you'll have your near credentials stored locally. To add wrapped near to your testnet account, replace your testnet account ID where suggested in two commands in the docs and run them in your terminal. The first command deposits a small portion of your testnet near into the wrap near contract to cover the cost of storing your account information. The second wraps the near in your account and adds the balance to your wallet. Once those two commands have been run, check the Oracle Explorer at the top and you should notice that you have some wrap near balance. Now we're ready to start validating. Let's find an ongoing request that can be answered by an arbitrator, like request number 9695 here. Scroll down and we can see the question of the data request in the description. Which team won the NFL Super Bowl in 1996? The possible outcomes are the Cowboys or the Steelers. This one is easy. The Cowboys crushed the Steelers that year. To stake your outcome, click the stake button at the top right corner of the screen, enter your answer and the amount you want to stake in your outcome. In this case, I'll stake two tokens. Once you approve of the transaction, the tokens will be removed from your account and staked into the data request for the outcome you input. Don't worry about adding too many tokens yet. There is a maximum amount you can input for each resolution window, and the Oracle will only take the maximum necessary to fill the bond for your outcome. While we wait for the request resolution window to close, let's take a look at the strategy we use to secure data. The Oracle resolves outcomes using resolution windows, meaning the staked outcomes that validators enter will be added to the current resolution window until one of the outcomes has enough tokens staked to become the bonded outcome for that resolution window. The amount of bond required for a data request will differ from protocol to protocol, but will generally be agreed upon by the DAO based on the value of the data it is intended to secure. For instance, if the data request is securing the answer to a prediction market query that has thousands of dollars worth of money riding on it, the bond value will be higher than if the data request was securing an answer of less financial importance. Once a resolution window has a bonded outcome, the next resolution window is opened with a timer that represents the amount of time left for another validator to dispute the previously bonded answer. If they have an alternative outcome, they must stake twice the bond. If an attacker would like to provide the wrong answer in order to cheat the system, they must post twice the bond of the other validators in the previous resolution window, which would become so expensive that the attacker would lose more money than they would gain by cheating the system. If the answer continues to be disputed all the way to the final resolution window, the final arbitrator will be called to settle the dispute. Whichever validators have been trying to provide the wrong answers will have their bonds slashed for every resolution window they've contributed to, and the honest actors will get the reward. Once the resolution window has closed, click the finalize button to resolve and close the data request. 
To claim your earnings from providing the right outcome, click the Claim Earnings button and congrats, you've successfully validated a data request. You may have noticed that although your originally staked tokens have returned to your wallet, you did not gain a reward. In the mainnet version, data requesters will include a certain amount of stable coins in their request to incentivize them to provide valuable requests to the Oracle and to limit spamming. If the validators deem the request valid, the requester gets most of their deposit back and the rest is paid out to the validators proportionally to the amount they have staked in the finalized outcome. Now we're going to take a look at how you can automatically earn a passive income by spinning up your own validator node. If you have a computer or server access that you want to deploy this to, or just want to run a node in the background while you use your device, you'll be able to automatically provide outcome to API requests on the Flux Oracle. First, we're going to go to the Oracle Validator node GitHub page and clone the repo to our computer. Once it's loaded, follow the instructions on the GitHub page and set up the validator. You will need npm to run this, so I suggest you install that first, and then run npm install to install all of the necessary base packages to run the node. If you haven't done so already, install the near CLI and run the near login command to store your near credentials locally. Next, you're going to modify the .env.example file by changing the name to just .env. This file holds all of the node's environmental variables that are needed to configure the node. Insert your computer account's username in the near credentials store path or the path where your near credentials are stored on your computer. Next, enter your near account ID and the Oracle contract ID as listed on the GitHub page. Now you're ready to run your validator. Run npm start and the validator will boot up and start iterating through the data requests until it finds requests it can begin providing outcomes for. Even though your validator is deployed and running, it may take some time before it will be able to stake an outcome. Be patient and check the logs to see what it's doing if you're curious. It looks like our validator is staked in an outcome. Let's take a look at data request 10664. If we scroll down the request page in the Oracle Explorer, we can see our outcome has been staked in the first resolution window and that no other validators have disputed our answer. Unlike the manual validation flow, the validator node will automatically finalize and claim the earnings of the data request as staked in as seen here. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our Telegram chat linked below in the description. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to receive more information and Flux-related content. I'm Jack, and thank you for watching.